10.5c, solving equations by factoring, they must equal zero. Before we factor, the equation must equal zero. If it's not, then we need to move things around until it does. To make factoring easy, we, we may want the x squared term to be positive. So you're going to see ones that are negative, and that means that you may need to do some manipulating of your equation to make it positive. Okay, let's look at our first equation. First thing I notice is that I don't have it equal to zero, so I want to move stuff. Because I want my x squared to be positive, I'm going to move my 2x and my 16, which means I'm going to subtract the 2x and the 16 from both sides. Boy, this is not writing good at all. All right, so we're going to get 5x squared equal to, whoops, minus 2x minus 16, and it now equals 0. We've moved everything over. Okay, now we're going to factor, so we'll put our two boxes. Only one way of factoring 5, so we'll go ahead and put a 5x in. And it looks like that we are taking the difference. 16, I think of four and four, but I don't know that that's going to be right. So if I look at that, that's 20x minus four. No, that's not going to do it for me. So let's erase that. So my other option would be 8 and 2. So let's try 8 and 2. That's going to give me 10x minus 8x. That does it for me. I want it to be negative, so I want a negative 10x and a positive 8. Whoops, so we want a positive 8 and a negative 2. Okay, now we set each one of those factors equal to zero. So we have 5x plus 8 equal to zero, and x minus 2 equal to zero, and then we solve. I'm kind of running out of the room down here at the bottom. So we're going to write the answer up here. So we're going to get x is equal to a negative 8 fifths for the one, and then we solve for the other. And we get x is equal to 2. And there's my two solutions. Let's take a look at example 2. Again, I don't have the equation set to equal, and I noticed here that there's a negative in front of my 2x squared. I really want that to be positive, so I'm going to move it over to the other side. It doesn't really matter which side my zero is on. So we have 0 equal to 2x squared plus x minus 3. Now I want to factor that. Only one way of factoring 2x squared. Only one way of factoring 3. I am taking the difference, so I want to put my 3 in the same box as my 2. And I want it to be a positive 3 and a negative 1. Now we set each one of those equal to 0. So we have 2x plus 3 equal to 0, and x minus 1 equal to 0. Let's solve. And I don't have much room here, so I think we'll do the same thing and put this up here. 
So we got x equal to a negative 3 halves. Solve the other one. And x equals 1. And now I have my two solutions. How do I check my solutions? Always a good idea to, to check and make sure. Plug them into the original equation.